Welcome to Mark Waltz Presents Embarrassingly Simple SEO, where we show you how to get your site SEO optimized. In this video titled Search Engine Optimized Content, we show you how to take that on-site copy and make it optimized for SEO. First we head to our manual to talk about what makes on-page optimization an essential part of the SEO process. There are a few main items that we will cover, including the title and meta tags, keyword density, and page URL optimization, synonyms and HTML tags for header 1 and header 2 tags, keywords text style, long tail keywords, image optimization, duplicate checks, and of course relevance. A good title tag contains keywords. It shouldn't exceed 60 characters and it looks something like this in HTML code. If possible, think of a title tag that doesn't contain stop words, which include and, or, and in, which are usually ignored by search engines. The meta keywords should contain the main keyword phrases that you chose in your keyword research. In HTML code, it looks something like this. In general, try to keep it below 160 characters. Don't repeat the same keywords. Use different capitalization if necessary. Don't use capitalization or use keywords that are not mentioned in the copy or too many keywords. The meta description tag contains the short information about the page. In HTML, it is set this way. The meta description, as we already covered, should give information about the page, but not the entire website. It should also be around 160 characters and contain some keywords or synonyms. Make sure that you don't spam decks, which is overloading your meta tags with keywords. With the growing popularity of Skype, it can be useful to add your company's number to the meta description because it makes the number clickable and results in direct calls from people who need information. The keyword density on a site refers to the percentage you insert your keywords relative to the total amount of words. So if in an article or paragraph of text on a page has 200 words, then try not to insert your keyword more than 10 times, or 5% of the total amount of words. You want to make the point clear in the paragraph with keywords, but it shouldn't be too high where it sounds forced or unnatural. You want to make sure that your page URLs have friendly links. In WordPress, you can change the links to be more SEO friendly, so be sure to change them into something that are related to the page and contain keywords. As a last warning, be sure not to change those URLs for pages that are already ranked well and get regular traffic from, because you will lose all that traffic and have to start all over again. For length, try and make a URL 100 characters or less in length. If you can, try and create an exact match for your site page. Synonyms and related keywords are a great way to help the keyword density of your content without overdoing it. The HTML header tag can be used to highlight important parts of a page copy. Use the H1 tag to highlight the page title or heading. The H2 or 3 tag can be used to separate content with headings and make it more scannable and easy to navigate. The text style is important because it makes copy readable and scannable. Use different styles such as bold or italic to highlight words or phrases. Long tail keywords are used to reach high rankings for competitive queries. If you had the keyword lose weight, then you can try and make that into a long tail keyword, like ways to lose weight, tips to lose weight, and any other way you can think of. Image optimization refers to inputting images relative to the amount of copy. As a general rule, for every 1,000 words, try and insert two or three images. Then you can optimize those further by adding alternate text, whereby text appears when you hover over an image, or when it cannot be displayed in a browser. Try and use keywords in these as well. In the file name, it is a great way to take advantage of keywords for pictures. So instead of random numbers and letters, you can save the file as a keyword that relates to the image. In the image title, try putting in a description of the image that says what it is about. In HTML code, it looks simply like this. Finally, image linking means that you're using keywords as anchor text for links leading to the images. From time to time, you will want to check to see that your page does not have any duplicates, just to be sure that your page is not plagiarizing and gets penalized for it. You can use Copyscape in order to check for duplicate copy. Above all, make sure that your site content remains relevant to the subject, as search engines will like you and visitors will find it more interesting. So what have we learned here today? We learned the value of applying a few simple on-site techniques to achieve maximum copy effectiveness. In our next video, we will go over how to create valuable links for your site, including where to look for them, introducing your site to web directories, and how to find relevant blogs to promote your site. Thanks for watching Mark Wells Presents Embarrassingly Simple SEO. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.